Nigeria passing three years without any case of world poliovirus is a step towards certifying the entire WHO African region free of polio by middle of next year. Following Nigeria's three-year mark, the African Regional Commission for Certification of Polio Eradication will now begin a rigorous process to confirm if each country in the region is actually free of the virus. Nigeria equal will submit the final data for evaluation by March 2020, provided, of course, there is no any case recorded. If the data confirms zero cases, the entire African region, of course, could be fully free by middle of next year. The President of the United States was a victim of polio, President Franklin Roosevelt. And one of the first efforts that I was involved in was the March of Dimes. And in order to defeat this disease, we have been fighting at every level all over the world. Polio, and especially the wild form of polio, you know, diseases seem to have sense. Whatever you try to do to stop them, they uh, change their habits and come at us in some other way. Today is indeed a historical day in the polio eradication program in Nigeria and indeed the partnership between National Health Primary Care Development Agency and, and the traditional institution. The success we are mark marking today attested to the fact that with concerted effort and engagement and collaboration of all stakeholders in the health sector in this country will with rapid progress. Today, the 21st day of August 2019, Nigeria makes history having achieved three years without a case of white polio virus WPV. The last white polio virus case was isolated in the child in Borno State on the 21st of August 2016. This press conference is to mark this significant milestone while ensuring that we do not lose sight of the huge amount of work that is left for us to do before we are certified polio free by relevant global organizations. There is no doubt that three years without a case of white polio virus is a historic milestone for the polio eradication program in Nigeria and the global community. This achievement will certainly not have been possible without the novel strategies adopted in the consistent fight against polio and other vaccine preventable diseases. We commend the strong domestic and global financing and the commitment of government at all levels. We appreciate the leadership and support from our traditional leaders, especially the Northern Traditional Leaders Committee on Primary Healthcare led by the Sultan of Sokoto. Our donors, development and local partners. We give kudos to the efforts of all the health workers and caregivers for their patience and understanding. Above all, we humbly and sincerely appreciate the support of His Excellency, President Muhammad Buhari, who has ensured that he walked his talk. We may recall that in August 2015, the President declared, and I quote, I will leave no stone unturned to ensure that the necessary resources and commitment required of my government are in place and efficiently utilized to strengthen routine immunization and finish the job of polio eradication, unquote. I must say 
that Mr. President has kept to his words as he has provided us with the needed resources and oversight to achieve a WPV free status, including ensuring that His Excellency, the Vice President, Professor Yemi Osimbajo, convenes the quarterly meeting of the Presidential Task Force on Polio Eradication to assess the performance of states. Thank you.